welcome to another episode of GGR Pro Tips. Here I have with me Chris McLennan, a wildlife photographer. So for those of you who would like to catch those animals, listen close. Now Chris, what would you give advice to budding photographers who probably want to start, say, into photography, just photography? Uh, I think the main thing is to get out there and practice. Get, get, get the best gear that you can at the time and get out there and spend your time with the camera, getting to know your camera and decide what it is that you want to photograph and just spend time perfecting your skill, honing your skill. And, um, so and practice makes perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. Become totally familiar with your camera so you know everything that it does instinctively. Get out there and use it. Keep practicing. Okay, and um, another question. Wild, wildlife photography, right? Yes. Now, we don't have that very much here in Singapore. Okay, we have a zoo. Yeah, one of the best yeah, zoos yeah, in the world. Right, yeah, so true. Great so, place but, to learn. But we don't have, you know, huge Serengetis, you know, for you to, to, to take shots of. But, how would you give advice to people who would like to, you know, get a foot into wildlife photography? For well, places like here or even worldwide? Yeah, well it's the same in New Zealand. We don't have a great variety of wildlife, so um, the zoo is a fantastic place to start. You know, you can hone your skills there, you get amazing images. I, mean, I did an exhibition last year, a wildlife exhibition of images solely shot at the Auckland Zoo. And, you know, it was incredible. Um, so I think having such a fantastic zoo here, get out to the zoo, practice, 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 hone your skills. Um, save your money. Travel's getting cheaper, but it's not cheap to go on safari, so it all depends on your level of where you can afford to go. So, but I mean, you can get amazing wildlife photos, right, right. Out, yeah, especially yeah. nowadays with the natural looking of the right, yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's a fantastic place, and I believe you've got an amazing bird park here as well, oh, yes. which I'm hoping to explore this week. So, you know, I've just been to Africa and to the polar bears and to Alaska, but I'm still going to the zoo. I'm still going to the bird park. So, yeah. just utilize what's close to you and what you have the ability of getting to and, and practice. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, next question would be, what's your weapon of choice? What, what's the gear that you would never leave home without? I never leave home without a D810. Previously it was a D800E. Okay. Um, I've got a variety of different lenses that I always take with me. For wildlife, um, if I'm on safari, the main lens I use is a 300mm 2.8 and I take a 500mm f4 with me. Um, I was fortunate enough in the last two weeks in Botswana to try the new 400 2.8, so in time that will probably change. I think I'll retire the 500 and go for this new 400. It's just beautiful. And then you convert it with it. I shot two weeks at pretty much solely on that one lens, um, the 400 2.8, I put the converter on when I needed it, but oh, so beautiful. A big long string of letters after it, oh yeah, DD, blah blah blah, they forgot OMG, that thing is so sweet. Nice, nice. Yeah. Alright, um, so one more piece of advice for the viewers. Yes. For budding photographers, you know, people who are just starting, what's one advice that you would give to say be careful or to, to take note of, you know, when you're just starting? Well, if you're starting and you're wanting to start to do it as a living, it's a, remember, if you want it to be a career, you want it to be a job, you have to treat it that way. It's a business like anything else. And the, the one thing that I see a lot out there is you get a lot of young photographers starting up and they're extremely talented. They're taking amazing pictures, but they give their work away to, supposedly to get a foot in the door. But if you give your work away, then that person's never going to pay you in the future. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're talented, you're taking good pictures, that, that has a value, you know. That, and if you want to do it for a living, then there's two things about being professional. One is providing professional service. The other meaning professional is getting paid. So if you're shooting something that's providing a service to somebody or that's useful to something, then be, expect to be paid for it because otherwise, in two years' time, you're not going to be doing it anymore. So it's a business. It's like anything. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and that is the thing. It's, it's a funny scenario. You, you find an average photographer who's a good business person who'll stay in business for a long time and become a better photographer. All right. You can be an amazing photographer. If you don't treat it as business, you're not going to be around for very long. So you, know, you have to. You know, it's a very expensive hobby. So it's all mindset. Well, yeah. If you want to do it for for a living, you've got to treat it as yeah, business. Right, right. Otherwise, it won't last. Alright, uh, Chris. Where can we find your works online? Um, I have a website which is www.cmphoto. So c m p h o t o. dot c o. dot n z. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This was Chris McLennan, wildlife photographer. Now, thank you, Chris, for being on the show with us today. And that's GGR Top Tips today. Thank you guys for watching this episode of GGR Top Tips. Do give us a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.